Good day. Do you wonder thinking why it is important to enable Windows authentication? You might also think, what is the difference between basic authentication and Windows authentication? This video will answer your questions. Consider an example, where an URL is protected using basic authentication. When a user tries to access that URL from another machine, they will be challenged with login credentials. After verifying their login details, the user will be allowed to view the URL. Now, let me show you how that works. First, let's see how an URL can be protected using the basic authentication scheme. So, browse to the CA SiteMinder Policy Server Administration page. Enter the login credentials and click Login. Click the Policies tab. Click the domain link. Then, click Domains from the left pane. Search the domain on which you want to apply basic authentication. In this scenario, GIS test domain is used. Click the Modify icon to modify the settings. View the domain details. Under User Directories section, click the Modify icon to view its detail. Check the server details. Then, click View Contents. Select the user who will be having the access rights. In this scenario, we will provide access to one LDAP user. After specifying the search, type, attribute and value, click Go. Observe that there are two users. LDAP user 1 and LDAP user 2. Click Close. You are back in the Modify User Directory page. Scroll down. In this scenario, we have not made any changes. So, click Cancel. Now, click the Realms tab. In this scenario, GIS Test Protected Realm is used. Click the Modify icon. Observe that this realm is protected by an agent named Test GIS Agent. Resource filter is specified as slash protected. Also note the authentication scheme is specified as basic. Scroll down to view the other details. In this scenario, we have not made any changes. So, click Cancel. Again click Cancel to return to the domain search page. We have verified that the resource is protected by basic authentication. Now, open the IIS. Expand the required site. In this scenario, it is GIS test. Select the protected folder. Under Browse Folder section, observe the link informs the folder details, such as the domain and port details. Click the link. Observe that in the protected folder, there are two files. Headers.asp and index.html. Our next task is to access the headers.asp using Internet Explorer. The user gets challenged with Windows security. Note that the name of the basic authentication is the SiteMinder Realm name. We have defined the access right to LDAP user 1 and LDAP user 2. So, let's enter the login credentials for LDAP user 2 and then click OK. After successful authentication, the protected URL gets displayed. In the search field, specify sm underscore user and click Next. The search result shows the logged in username. Now, Consider the same example, where an URL is protected using Windows Authentication Scheme. When a user tries to access that URL from another machine, the authentication and authorization process happens in the background. Then, they are allowed to view the URL, which provides them a single sign-on experience. Let me show you how that works. Open SiteMinder Administrative UI and click the Infrastructure tab. Click the Authentication link. Click Authentication Schemes from the left pane. Click Create Authentication Scheme. Now, to create a new authentication scheme, select Create a new object of type Authentication Scheme option. Then, click OK. Specify the authentication scheme name and its description. Click the drop down arrow of Authentication Scheme type. Select Windows Authentication Template from the drop down list. Specify the schemes it ports. In this scenario, we will use LDAP, so Active Directory or LDAP option is selected. Specify the other scheme setup details, such as server name, port, target and user DA lookup. Click Submit to apply the changes. Now, if you search, it shows the new authentication scheme. 
The next task is to modify the domain settings. So, click the Policies tab. Click the domain link. Then, click Domains from the left pane. Search the domain on which you want to apply basic authentication. In this scenario, GIS test domain is used. Click the Modify icon to modify the settings. Click the Realms tab. We will modify the same realm, GIS test protected. Click the Modify icon. Observe that this realm is protected by an agent named Test GIS Agent. Resource filter is specified as slash protected. Now, let's change the authentication scheme. Click the drop down arrow. From the drop down list, select the required scheme. In this scenario, let's select GIS Windows Auth Scheme underscore 3 that we have created. Click OK to apply the changes. Then, click Submit. A message confirms that the task is completed successfully. Expand SiteMinder Agent. Select NTLM. Double click Authentication to open it. Select Anonymous Authentication. Then, from the Actions pane, click Disable. Select Windows Authentication and click Enable from the Actions pane. Open Command Prompt and execute the IIS Reset command to restart the Internet services. Try to access the protected URL. The page gets displayed. The user didn't have entered the login details as the authentication happens in the background by IIS. As the authentication type is stated as Windows Authentication, it captures the authenticated user details automatically. Further, if you view the SiteMinder trace log, you will find the status authenticated and authorized message. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more, visit www.ca.com/education.